now we go to the docks. Now that we're allowed to. The docks. The docks. We love the docks. Do 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 do. When you arrive at the docks, we finally get an up-close view of everything. It's a massive shipyard, with vessels both arriving and departing. People run in every direction, a mixture of workers and pirates. I suppose they share the same workplace. It's interesting how I can discern a pirate from their clothes and demeanor. After a few steps into the shipyard, we're surrounded by tons of people. Hey, stick close to me. Wouldn't want to get lost, right? He inches closer to me, and we make our way through the shipyard. It must be their busy hour or something, because we can barely move. People bump into us and apologize before moving on their way. We're heading to that bridge up there. Eh? He points forward to a bridge in the distance. At this rate, it would take hours to get there. But Tame lets out an exasperated sigh. Yo-ho, yo-ho. A pirate's life for me. Seriously? How much longer is this gonna be? Oh, don't be so dramatic, for Tame. We'll be able to rest before you know it. Enjoy the journey. Maseo is beautiful. What if you, you can see through all of the crowded hustles? All right. Fortame continues walking, defeated. As we inch our way forward, we start to lose hope. However, it isn't long before that hope is kindled again. Hey, Domek! Hey, USB Mike! A voice shouts from high up, and we turn to look. There's a man at the top of one of the ships acting as a lookout. After seeing Damek, he quickly makes his way down to all of us. He slides down a ladder, quickly making his way to the surface. Standing on the edge of the ship, he grips the railing tight. Where have you been? Feels like I haven't seen you in ages. Hey, I haven't seen you in ages. What's up, unibrow? He jumps over the edge of the ship, landing on the ground with style and a broken fucking ankle. I can tell he's a pirate. He must be another ally. That's good. In the upcoming battle, we need as many allies as possible. Grayson, it's so good to see you again. Don't worry, it's nothing personal. I'm just busy. We've been cooking up something really special. Soup. Special, huh? Well, that's all you had to say. You know I've got your back in everything. Damek steps closer and whispers in Grayson's ear. No doubt he's confiding in Grayson about our recent choice. Oh, an alliance? Beautiful. We'll be working together more then. And I must say, you made a fine decision, Damek. Yeah, I'm sure this guy won't blab to fucking everybody. He smiles and makes an interesting signal with his arms. A few moments later, a bunch of people in our way quickly move. Gotta get back to the church, I'm guessing? Sorry about my crew. They're good at getting in the way. In fact, I'm not sure what else they're good for these days. Wow, that's a shitty thing for a boss to say. I don't like this guy. <laughs> between every few words, he glances behind Damek. His eyes shift between Valesa, Fortame, and myself. Can I help you with something? Oh, sorry, not at all. He just looks familiar, that's all. Like some pirates Nada used to work with. Hmm. Again, people saying that we look familiar. Familiar? <laughs> Chris said the same thing, actually. Just one of those faces, I guess. Not just any faces, mind you. I was taken aback because you look like legends. A few infamous pirates from back in the day, you know? Ooh, what the fuck does that mean? Pirates? No relation, I assure you. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't their families, like, dis disappear or something? Oh, man. Wonder if that's the secret. They're related to the p, -p, -p pirates She laughs and Grayson nods. Yeah, just a small world. Yeah. Seems like he's unsure if that's an insult or not. And for that matter, so does Valesa. Grayson lets it slide. 
Oh, get it, it's Grayson, because he's gray. Ha 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 ha. A few moments later, he climbs up a netting to the side of the ship. It isn't much longer until he's back to the top of the mast looking out. Why does it keep showing Domek like right before the, the text goes away? It's weird. He shouts to his crew and they move aside, leaving an open trail for us. Again? Yeah. Were all these pirates his crew? He must be a man of great influence. It's always good to have friends in high places. There's still people wandering the shipyard, but not as many as before. In fact, we'd be able to continue forward without any issue at all. That was Grayson. We go way back. He's a great ally and he'll have our back no matter what. I doubt he cares whether we sided with Alex or Nada. That's good. His crew seemed massive. The ship as well. It's in pristine condition. Well then, on we go. As he talks, he motions to the bridge once more. We give each other some space, happy to be moving freely again. I guess we could resume our journey without any struggles. Do, 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 do. Oh, who is this? What's up? What's this? Ooh, view parallel chronicle Sovi 5. What's up? Sovi and his crew wandered the crowded docks of Mazeo. They stuck close together to ensure that Shane didn't run away. Close to the Rebellion's home, Sovi was sure it crossed his mind. Well, you sure seem a lot happier. Back on the boat, all you did was mope around. Sovi scoffed, turning to face his apprentice. <sighs> Seasickness, I suppose. As old as I am, I've never really gotten used to it. You can't be too much older than me. Right. Sorry. Besides, I think I know what's going on. You realize something about the triumvirate. Triumvirate. Yeah, there's another fucking pronunciation. Yes, I did. I see through the trick now. It was a good idea. I'll give them that. Trick? Yes, to put my loyalty to the test. There's no way what they told me was true. They merely want to see if I'll waver. I see. That's why they wouldn't tell you either. This was a test, meant only for me. So selfish. So what happens now that you've passed? I guess I'll find out once we return. I'm just glad that I can focus on the mission now. Right, I'm glad too, I suppose. On the boat, you were in no condition to perform. Perform, eh? To perform? Oh my my. Oh hell yes, time to put on that party dress. After a few more minutes of walking, Sovi stops in his tracks. Halen and Shane bump into his back, causing him to stumble over. Master? Oh, sorry. Just... A lot on my mind. Oh, we're not lost, are we? Sophie stares at the cloaked figure in the distance. Uh-oh! We've been spotted! Oh my! He smirks as he watches them walk through the docks with a group. A large item affixed to their back sways with each of their heavy footsteps. Yeah, that's, uh, not exactly a subtle fucking thing, is it? No. Not at all. God damn it. We've been spotted. Oh, hey, what's this? Hey. Ah, we got a lot of talking to do with. Oh, so many dialogue options! Why? <laughs> Man, did I pick the right fucking game to sit, sit down for many, many hours with? Well, let's just start off. What do you think of Mazeo so far? It's interesting, to say the least. It's a lot busier than I thought it would be. It makes Valinor look dead by comparison. I'm actually longing for that peace again, though. This place is chaotic. There's so much going on. Hopefully the Rebel HQ will be a bit like home. What do you think of Damek? He seems to know what he's doing. 
I mean, I had some doubts going into this, actually, but he's proven himself to be a capable leader. I like how charismatic he is, you know? It's a lot easier to follow somebody like that. Some people demand respect. He yearns it. What are your thoughts on Pro? To be honest, I'm actually not sure. He seems nice, but I have my doubts. There's just something about him, you know? It doesn't help that he likes to cheat people. That's probably it. He is on our side, though, so I doubt we have to worry about him cheating us. What do you think about Ulrich? He's the strongest person I've ever met. I'm sure he'll be protecting us a lot in the future. I don't really have anything bad to say about him. He can be stern, but he has the best intentions. I mean, he has no patience for wasting time. Him and Fortin make an interesting combo. How are things between you and Fortame? Pretty good, actually. I was worried. You know, about some of the choices you had to make. We've never really let them get between us, though. Unless there's something he's not telling me, but I doubt it. He's always been fully open with me in the past. I wouldn't worry about anything at all, Seer. That was it? Well, what the fuck was the point of that? Okay. What's up with these boxes? What are these? What are these? Traps. Traps? Traps for what? Seafood. Oh. Oh. No. We don't have that back in Valinorth. How do these things work exactly? Well, these ones are mainly for lobster. It traps them inside and they're emptied out every day. Once a week, they're sold off in the market square for food. So you capture them only to eat them? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. They're just minding their own business down there. Why should we snatch them up and kill them just like that? Because they taste good. Okay, a ship? There's a massive ship docked surrounded by workers. They don't seem to be dressed as pirates, though. Must be part of the Mazeo Shipping Company. Wow, that ship is so cool! Will our ships be like that, Donic? Of course, we have only the best. Actually, ours might be better. <laughs> we say very interesting, yes. Why is that? Pirates put more care into their ships. They don't just work on them, they live on them. The other people have homes to go back to. So pirates are homeless? Well, not exactly. A, a ship still counts as a home. They just share it with their crew. Oh, I guess that makes sense. So ours will be even fancier than that? That's pretty hard to imagine. I'm excited. Yeah, just be very careful. Pirates are super protective of their homes. If you broke something, well, uh, let's not think about that. Aha. Uh -huh. Yikes. Um, the, the buildings. There's a bunch of houses lining the docks. They look fancy. Workers come and go, telling me that it's a place of business. Near the back, I notice that the houses are more run down. Pirates move back and forth between these houses. I guess society only left them with the scraps to work with. Hopefully things will be better for them soon. Um, oh, is it, that's the, that's the, that's the boat again. There's a massive bridge on the other side of the docks. According to Damek, there's a, that's the bridge we'd be traversing. At the other end of the bridge, I can see an old building. Looks pretty impressive, doesn't it? Maseo is largely above water, so bridges are common. But there's a couple of main bridges, architectural wonders. <clears throat> We'll actually be crossing Mazeo's biggest bridge. I hope you're not scared of heights here. He smiles and motions toward the very bridge I was inspecting. Our church is just on the other side. I, I can't wait for you to see it. It's amazing. Just stick close to me. It won't be too long. Okay. 
I guess that's it. <laughs> Moving along now. <laughs> After what feels like ages, and you're not kidding there, we reach the end of the bridge. We all stop and catch our breath and let our legs relax. Demic wipes some sweat from his brow and laughs, laughs, oh, laughing. Bit of a workout, isn't it? Hopefully the trek was worth it. So, what do you think of our home? I think it looks like the temple of time, you fucking philanderer. Stands proud, staring at the nearby church. After getting our bearings back, we look out in awe. Whoa. This place is crazy. I've never seen anything like it before. Outside of the fucking Ocarina of Time, or any Castlevania game. Yeah, it sure stands out, doesn't it? Don't worry, that works to our advantage. When hiding, I find the most obvious spot is the best. I guess they'd never expect their own church. But here's a question. Why are there only two statues? It's the Triumvirate, right? Shouldn't there be three? Good use on the emphasis on try. I don't know, actually. It's a bit odd when you think about it. Maybe they didn't have enough space? Maybe you don't know what you got into after all. He laughs, awkwardly shuffling in place. Perhaps he found his ignorance embarrassing, as you should. I trust you're ready for the Grand Tour? The Grand Tour? A.K.A. the setup for a fucking ambush? I nod, looking over to Valesa and Fortame. It seemed our long journey was over. We were here. This was our new home, whether we liked it or not. Yeah, I can't wait to see. We've been getting followed, mother frockers. I'm game. Let's do this. Yeah, you sound super excited. Not as much as I am right now. <laughs> They both smile, ready to get things moving. <laughs> Dominic takes a few steps up the stairs and waves me over. After you, of course. It would be rude to do this any other way. An esteemed guest of ours should always be first. Yeah, so we get shot first, you fucking asshole. I nod and get ready to enter the church. Ulrich, Provalesa, and Fortame wait for my move. Seemed almost everybody respected Dominic's authority. Oh, this has got a heart on it. Whoa. The party banter is due to your relationship with Ulrich. Okay, well then do oh, it. Oh, Ulrich. Uh-huh. Yeah? I saw you and the seer in that tavern. You two were getting awfully close. Your point is? You know we're kind of dating, right? We had our first date in the town square. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. That's what that was? Yeah, then it was pretty awesome. Mostly thanks to you, though. And that apple. I was hoping you'd share together. Maybe I was playing matchmaker all along. Yeah, right. Nobody is that smart. You're not giving me enough credit, little one. Anyway, you don't mind that we're... Oh, of course not. The more the merrier. The seer has a lot of love to go around. Yeah, more than I thought, actually. I'm sure you and I will be getting closer now, too. No objections here. See, that's not... As much as I absolutely love the inclusion of polyamory in this game, a web does not necessarily have to be formed when a link is made. So the uh, the assumption of a web, aka one person in the middle, two links here. Oh well, I guess that means we have to link up. That does that's not an automatic. So I guess we have to get closer now too. If that just means that they're going to be spending more time together because of a connection, okay, but. It seemed like they were implying that they're going to be dating because they're both dating the seer. That's not how polyamory fucking works. <laughs> oh, hey, pro. What's up, pro? 
freaking pro pro. Anything else you could tell me about Mazeo Pro? Not really, to be honest. You've already seen pretty much all it has to offer. It's constantly busy and it never really stops. Yeah? I can't even imagine living close to the docks. They work overnight, so it'd be too loud to sleep. The best places are either Grizz's area or RHQ. So maybe we can talk more about that once you see it. It's so silent underground you can hear almost everything. Makes it pretty easy to sleep. If you get the time, that is. What are your thoughts on Valesa? She's pretty cool. Seems to be pretty by the book. I mean, I don't see her breaking any laws or anything. I don't roll like that. Obviously, I live in a moral gray area. No, yeah, obviously I'm so cool, I gotta break laws to have a personality. That's not to say she's uninteresting, though. I just don't see myself getting too close to her. It's better for me to stick to like-minded people. Who knows? Maybe she'll prove me wrong. War has its way of compromising almost everybody. I was born into this life, but I'm sure others can adapt to it. What do you think about Fortame? Now, he's a guy I could see myself getting along with. Can't wait to spend some more time with him in RHQ. He speaks his mind, he's energetic, and he's careless. <laughs> wait, am I talking about him or myself right now? Uh, yeah, you get the idea. We're like peas in a pod. I'm sure we'll have no shortage of good times. What are your thoughts on me? Oh, <laughs> you sure like putting me on the spot. Uh, I, I think you're cool. I mean, from what I've seen. At first, I didn't really have a clue, but it's better now. You've had to make some tough decisions, Seer. That's one way to gain my respect. Push through adversity. I still want a one-on-one -on -one interview with you in the future, though. It seems like you're starting to become quite important. I'd hate myself if I missed the opportunity to probe your mind. That's something we can talk about later on, though. We're busy. And lastly, how often do you walk this far? Well, pretty much every day. Except for the last couple of weeks since I was in Valinorth. It's not too bad once you get used to it. I absolutely adore walking. It just takes some getting used to, that's all. Sometimes when I have it in me, I can even sprint. Running to the market from our HQ is pretty intense. Nobody is interested in doing it with me, though. I need a workout partner to keep things interesting, you know? Everybody else defines working out as sparring in the barracks. All right. And lastly, we have a concurrent story, or a parallel story, sure, with Grizz. Is this him finding getting uh, yelled at by Nada? Grizz sits at his desk, with his head in his hands, emotionally drained. Lilith enters his office, showing concern, but decides to talk business instead. Grizz, sir, the papers have been sent back out. Alex and Nada should know momentarily. Slightly shocked, Grizz shakes his head and rests his hands on his desk. Thank you, Lilith. I couldn't do this without you. You give me too much credit. I'm just a glorified paper pusher. You do all the heavy lifting, you know. He sighs and rests, rests back in his chair. <sighs> and it's starting to weigh down on me. Lilith, can we talk off the record for a moment? Of course, sir. Anytime you'd like. It's about the occupation. As you know, I was involved with it. Yeah, but that was ages ago. It's all in the past. You're a better man now. That's the funny thing about the past, Lilith. It always has its way of catching up with you. What do you mean? Honestly, I wouldn't know where to start. But recently... Tomek agreed to work with me. I wanted exclusive access to Mazeo's spirit idol. You lost me. I want to atone for what I've done, Lilith. So many spirits, trapped in those suits of armor. 
an eternity of mindless servitude to the triumvirate. And you can fix that with the spirit idol? I hope so. Part of me always had some doubt. But today, I realize that this is my destiny. I can't doubt it or hide from it any longer. Destiny? I'm not sure I buy into that stuff. I'd rather call the shots myself, you know. Well, maybe purpose is a better word. At the end of the day, this is still my choice. But I wasn't certain until today. I saw something. What did you see? Back during the occupation, I killed so many innocent people, made orphans out of so many children. I've been facing that for the last twenty years, but today was the first time I faced it in person. It's the seer and those two companions he had with them. You mean Valesa and Fortem? Fortem? Yes, Lilith, all three of them. I couldn't put my finger on why they looked familiar, but I just realized it, and I know I need to take action. Oh boy, I'm gonna get an answer on this. He places his head back into his hands, almost ashamed. Spitting images of people I killed during the occupation. I have no doubt in my mind that their parents died by my hand. I played a part in condemning them, forcing them into this war. Clenched his fists, trembling as he looked up at Lilla. And now, I must play my part in ending it. I'm going to those tunnels, right now. Jesus. Well, we're about to have a fucking, uh, confrontation because we're going there, we're getting followed to go there, and now fucking Grizz is going there to do whatever the hell he's doing with the fucking spirit idol, but he's a little further back, so he's going to show up a little bit later. Man, this is a lot of shit. That's the bridge we used to come here. It was structurally sound, but it didn't feel like it. Part of me was scared it'd fall apart under us. Dominic showed no signs of worry, however. That put me at ease, since he was a local. If he was scared, I knew I'd be as well. Yeah, that bridge looks like shit. It's a statue of a cloaked figure. We're not sure who it's supposed to be. There's only two of them. It can't be the... Can't be the triumvirate, okay. If it were, then there'd be three statues. But where would the third statue go anyway? Maybe it's just a space limitation thing? Either way, they look mysterious and brooding. Makes the entire church give off an eerie vibe. The architectural style wasn't helping it either. The church looks so out of place. I've never seen anything like it before. Doesn't look Mazayan, that's for sure. That looks creepy. It's modeled after Balteus. That's what things look like over there. And that's where we're going next. Just great. Now I'm even more afraid. Who makes stuff like this anyway? Romans? The French? Your guess is as good as mine. It doesn't fit in with any part of Alestia. Balteus is really distinct. It's kind of cool. I'll take your word for it. Now well, let's go on in. As soon as we enter, Domic walks down the center si center aisle. He trails a finger along the pause, the pews, along the pause, the pews as he does, gathering up dust. Not much time for triumvirate worship these days. He makes his way to the spirit idol at the back of the church. Clapping his hands together, he frees himself of the dust. This is the spirit idol of Maseo. Or so we thought until recently. It remains dust-free, unlike the rest of the church. He places his hand on the altar, looking up at the idol. We assumed it was dim and dying. You know, like the idol back in Valinor. But that's not the case at all. 
we were shocked. The reason it's dim is because it's receiving power. However, the source of the power is deep underground. That's what the Triumvirate has been digging for. The entire reason for their occupation. And now, it's in the hands of the Rebellion. First their sword, <laughs> now the idol they sought. He turns back to face us, a wide smile on his face. It would seem the tables are turning. Feel free to rest for a few minutes. There's still a bit of a walk ahead. Seriously? More walking? When are we going to get to rest? Trust me, you'll get plenty of time to rest. Just take a breather before we continue. He points to the pews before walking over to a door in the back corner. This door will lead us to the tunnel, Seer. It's the final stretch, I can promise you that. Whenever you're ready, let's head on down. <laughs> nice hidden pathway, just a door. He presses his back against the wall and crosses his arms. Everyone seems glad that he was offering us a brief reprieve. I take a few moments to collect myself before we head down. Yeah. Ooh. The party banter is due to your relationship with Fortame. Well, let's see what hey, this Hey, Fortem? Oh, Fortem. Yeah? Yeah? I saw you and the seer run off into an alley earlier. What were you two doing back there, exactly? Making sweet, sweet apples. Oh, we were on a date! <laughs> what? Seriously? Whoa, don't act so surprised. You might hurt me. <laughs> no, it's not that. There's just so much going on. Are you sure that won't interfere with anything? Of course not. I think we're smarter than that. Besides, it was perfect. We shared a mosaic and apple. Wow, how romantic. <laughs> you had to be there! <laughs> I think I'll pass. It's good to see you enjoying yourself, though. There's just too much on my mind for that kind of stuff. Just wait until we get to the Rebel HQ, Valesa. It'll be a life of luxury, you'll see. There'll be plenty of time. We can dream. <laughs> uh, hey. This? Oh, hey, we do want to talk to Hey. Uh, what do you think of Mrs. Ayo so far? It's crazy. I don't know what to think. Just when I'm comfortable, something new is thrown at us. The markets, the residential districts, and the docks. Valinorth is pretty much the same no matter where you are. To see things so different? That's a real shocker for me. I'm not sure what my favorite part has been so far. If I had to choose, though, I'd say the residential district. Being able to live free from the noise and free of work? That's like a dream come true. Everywhere is so noisy. I assume you get used to the noise, but it's still there. You know what I mean, right? You just learn to ignore it. I'd rather not have to do that. It'd make things way easier. What do you think of Domek? He's so cool! I love being around him. I want to learn to be more like him, if I'm honest. Everybody respects him and follows his directions. He's going to make a fine leader after this is over. I actually doubted the rebellion, but he convinced me. This cause is in perfect hands. We're going to do this. That's a lot of confidence. What are thoughts on Pro? I didn't trust him at first, but he's growing on me. I know he does a lot of shady things, but only out of necessity. I have no doubt in my mind that after the war is over, he'll change. Hmm. What about Ulrich? Ulrich is probably my favorite person so far. I mean, he gave me free money earlier. Free! It's all thanks to him that I got to taste a mosaic and apple. That's the one thing I was looking forward to. He's been nothing but friendly since we met him. Sure, he seems strong, but he's really gentle. Who would have thought that a guy like him has a soft side? Either way, yeah, Ulrich has been great. He's teaching me a lot. Maybe one day I might even learn how to use a great sword like him. Aww. And how do you feel about Je Rebellion? I feel great. There's not much to say. We have everything we need in order to win. I can't wait to see our new HQ. Our new home. 
All right. Nice talking to you, Fortame. And now for a parallel story of Sovi. Still back at the docks, Jesus Christ. Continuing their adventure through the docks. Sovi keeps close to Shane. Leading everybody into a schedule, secluded, a scheduled back alley, a secluded back alley. Come back alley, come back alley. He lets out a long sigh. It was nice to get away from all the noise. The Zayans were obnoxious. What gives? This isn't the way to Valinorth. But I guess you do like going backwards. Oh, we'll get there yet. I just have some business to tend to. Shane, can I talk to you alone for a moment? Oh my. Shane follows and follows Sovi deeper into the alleyway. Halen takes the note and stands guard, ensuring their privacy. Look, something important has come up. You're aware of our moles within the rebellion, right? Alleged moles. Alleged. Yes. Well, I found this at our drop point. I think it's something you'll be interested in. Oh my. Sophie holds out a letter, prompting Shane to take it. It's a letter written by Domek. Why is this important? Um... Just read it, Shane. It's from Domek to Valnorth's elder. It seems your capture was just part of his plan. What? What? Shane keeps reading the letter, his eyes shooting wide open. Every word was like a knife to the heart. He was betrayed. He wanted me to get captured? Look at this. It says he hates me. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. But your mission was only a cover. He wanted to kill you off, Shane. What? What? That's not true. I refuse to believe this. I know, Domic. He wouldn't do this to me. Are you sure about that? It makes sense when you think about it. He sent you there to gain intel, right? Yeah. He already had all the intel he needed. That was the purpose of the Exodus Raid. They mapped out our entire castle, Shane. What intel is there left for you to gather? None. Domek just wanted you out of the way. Oh, Christ. Are you serious? No. Are you fucking for real? We were merciful enough to give you a chance, Shane. We could have killed you, but we still found value in your life. I think that's way more than anything Domic can say. Oh, for the love of God, really? We're more benevolent than the... Are you fucking for real? It really does look like his handwriting. Are you... <laughs> Forgeries exist! Are you kidding me? I have no reason to lie to you, Shane. What? I know what it's like to have your world torn apart. It seems like all hope is lost, doesn't it? What? You have no reason to lie? You're the villain! <laughs> Also, what? <laughs> this is so dumb. What? <laughs> what? Are you fucking serious right now? I have no reason to lie. Doesn't it feel like you're fucking? I don't even really remember who the fuck Shane is, but you can literally replace him with anyone, and this is just the dumbest fucking thing ever. I hate it when this fucking happens. This is so fucking stupid. What should I do? You shouldn't believe any of this, you 
fucking moron! You were planning to run away, weren't you? Maybe you thought you could lose us in the crowd? It's a good idea. But there's no home left for you there. Oh, for the love of God. Why did you wait until now to show me? Because I have a favor to ask of you, Shane. And remember, I would never abandon you. I've had every opportunity to kill you. Oh yeah, I will not, I'm the good one, he's the bad- I'm the as soon- I have no reason to lie to you except for when I want to get something out of you. And remember, I'm the good one, he's a- Literally, a second ago, he's like- <laughs> I've got no reason to lie to you. Um, like, right after that. Oh, I'm gonna- I'm literally trying to get something out of you. And- immediately reinforces it with emotional manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid! What the fuck? Am, am I being too hard, or is this... This is... A favor? Uh, you fucking... Sylvie takes the letter while he watches Shane fight back tears. The, the emotional maturity of a fucking fern! It was a hard thing to accept being disowned by your family. Oh, man. But it was a pain that Sylvie knew all too well. He could relate. <laughs> he didn't respond just yet. He watched the silent rage build up in Shane. Oh yeah, yeah, you, you lit the fire, let it bubble a little. That would be perfect. For rage was an invaluable tool on the battlefield. It's also a highly volatile material to work with for manipulation. With a smirk. Fucking piece of shit. So we finally broke his silence, placing a hand on Shane. Don't worry. I'll still let you visit Domic and the Rebels. It's just... I have something different in mind for you. A chance to... pay him back. If you'd be so inclined. <sighs> Fucking... This is so... Basic. They forged a letter, and then in a minute and a half, they got this, like, He would never do that to me! I swear! He's so loyal! To, oh, he literally tried to get me killed, <laughs> and totally buying that, and to swearing his revenge. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> so fucking... Shane's fist trembled in anger. In this moment, he was right where Sylvie wanted him. Yeah, really. Suspension of belief destroyed instantly. Like, are you fucking for real? Unless these glowing red eyes are like mind control powers. If this is all just based off of sly talking, then this is fucking dumb. Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Fucking... <laughs> You're fucking... You are a fucking... You are a hollow pencil. <sighs> wow. Really? We just... Exited one of the worst fucking scenes in any of the finished visual novels I have ever re read. One of the, like, cause, cause there are some unfinished novels that have some really bad scenes, but this is finished. This is done. Well, let's, uh, let's head on down to the underground. Head on down to the underground. 
Head on down to the underground. Travel to the Rebel HQ. You can see it might have been supposed to be carried by the voice acting, but it was too optimistic for him. <laughs> Could have. Let's see, that's the problem. The voice acting had no vocal coaching. There's no voice direction for the voice actors. I assume. And so if this was supposed to be carried by the voice acting, it wasn't. Again, that's no shade to the talent involved. That's just... This, this reeks of no vocal direction. Alright, let's travel to the Rebel HQ. 